Okay, and here we go for the next 10% or so, I guess. Turbo. Red nozzle. Let's do it in blocks of like six or so, I guess. By the time I do 20%, whether or not I'll even have finished this wall. <laughs> well, I'll finish this wall, but I mean, this uh, whole length. Logically, I guess about 30 odd percent is each tunnel, and then it would be about 40 percent would be all of the detail in the middle. Interesting to see how it divvies up. Need to be able to use like my VR controls or something to just point. Maybe I can just do the cable. Okay, um... I can see little bits that I've missed on this blue strip there. Because it's more of a matte finish, it's not as obvious as when it's on the reflective tiles. I have the idea at the moment of actually just doing the top layer first. Just do it in sections. I do like this bit above that cable first. And then I'll come back to the left doing the bit between the cable and the paint. Or basically above the hoardings. And then I'll go back to the right doing the underneath and that should get us there just do a little bit of up and down as a break from the side to side
Ein Jäger aus Köpfalz. Something about a hunter? Don't know what aus Köpfalz is. Twice a day. I'm not sure what we're meant to be doing twice a day, but I can think of some things that'll be fun to do twice a day. I gotta say, the clearage bar, clearance bar for the tunnel wall is getting pretty low, which is nice. Given that I know that I've still got quite a lot to actually do on the way back. So it'll be nice if it dings a bit prematurely. Won't really make any difference to my approach because turbo is turbo, it takes as long as it takes regardless, maybe just a case of I won't have to be quite as worried about little bits that I miss, but at the end of the day like, I'm still having to turbo over most of the area, so I won't really change my approach but it will at least, hopefully, require a little bit less time spent. What's quite good as well is when a fairly large feature does do a premature thing, it does advance your percentage a lot quicker. It just suddenly jumps forward. So I guess maybe they... Oh, it is in sections. Okay, but because I was going left to right, it didn't look like that. <laughs> okay, so above the cable is a different section. This one I'm fairly sure is the same. Yeah, because I was just steadily working my way from left to right, there was no difference between any of the sections really. That's kind of funny. What would be nice is if they had like the same sort of blue tiles 
with each light strip so that each one could be its own horizontal sectioning as well as well as the vertical sectioning Okay, so we're going to work our way along cable to the bottom of the blue and work our way back to the left. Try and do it as front facing as possible. do notice is even after getting the ding on that top feature still at 10% <laughs> so that's concerning These little bits here, honestly, honestly, probably aren't going to be that consequential anyway. Now, this bit, on the other hand, this is where the fun begins. time to get from 8% to 10% than it's done to get me from 10 to 11. <laughs> should almost have done is put my desk into its standing configuration so I could at least stretch my legs while I did this. There's the 11 percent. Okay, one section done. At least we're getting to the point that it's underneath the advertising hoardings, so it's not as much to do. We can do a bit more vertical again, perhaps. It's good to alternate the direction that your hand's moving slightly. I almost want to make the... Turn my DPI down so it's less sensitive. Maybe I should do that. So then I do actually have to move my hand a little bit further. Because otherwise it's actually quite taxing to try and move your hand a 
tiny amount to restrain the amount that you move when your DPI is high. Yeah, I generally prefer to look around quickly in games, but there's something to be said for taking a little bit slower on this. So I'm less likely to just jitter too far ahead and then miss bits. here. It's like I'm playing, uh, is it Breakout? Where you got the ball bouncing off the paddle. And just breaking all of the blocks above. That's a blast from the past. I remember playing that on my dad's Nitram 086 back in the day. I think it was on a five and a half inch floppy cassette. <laughs> and you just, yeah. A coloured ball bouncing between coloured blocks. Good fun. Sometimes simple games are just the best. Of course, if you tried to have that sort of game these days, like if any similar sort of thing exists now, I bet it's like different types of ball, different pedals that you can unlock with premium currency, and there'd be microtransactions and something horrendous. I'm not cynical at all. just this little bit left hopefully assuming I haven't missed too much there's probably all the bits along the bottom behind the cable so I might have to just go along with the short nozzle a bit short extension rather it's just little bits that I've missed along the way. How about underneath the advertising hoardings? No? How much have I actually missed? If I stand back and go tab on this. I mean, there's a few dots, but it's not too bad. It's also really close to going ding, so it's not like it needs much to be Oh, maybe on the blue bit? No? Just looking for anything that doesn't reflect the same way? I mean, that's looking pretty clean, I'm sorry, game. <laughs> Maybe above 
the advertising hoardings. Bounce. It's just tiny little bits, it seems. There's not really any big areas that I've missed, though. Yeah, it's just little spots. Guess we go to the just spam tab. She should probably get underneath the cable along here, maybe. There might be bits that we've missed. Like up along underneath it slightly. Nope, that hasn't done it either. I mean, it feels like there must be a decent amount that we've missed for it to not want to give it to us because we're so close. I'm not really seeing any large bits when I tab. I'm just pinging it like a bloody sonar at the moment just to see what shows up as I move along. Just... It's just really not much showing up. Oh, this light didn't actually get done. Huh. Do I need to do the top of it or something? Or is it like the crevices on the inside? Yeah, there we go. Top didn't quite get done. Oh, maybe the seam down here? really not much though. <laughs> the rest of the map glows bright orange but this wall is not much. It's just being really annoying now. I was hoping that it was going to be the opposite. It's a little bit down by this cable here. We have to do something. Ah, oh, hang on. Do we have to do something stupid like go underneath the cable? But we'd have to. We don't have an angle on that to shoot from over here underneath there because it thinks it's too close. Because the cable goes hard up against the wall. I can see a gap underneath there. So I have no idea if it's actually getting underneath. I also don't see anything show up when I hit tab though. It's all underneath. It's all on the bottom. So I'm still at a loss to what the problem is then. Where's the ladder? Let's bring you back down here and go up here and see if there's bits that I've missed above the advertising hoardings or anything oh yeah here we go it's a tiny bit there that I've missed and above this one maybe just right in the corner. But we're really having to hunt for things that we've missed. For it to ding on such a huge feature, like it feels like for something of this size, there should be a pretty significant area that I've missed. But instead it's just like tiny little pieces here and there. It's really annoying. this. I mean there is kind of weird angles where these things meet against the wall. But I'm not seeing anything actually show up. We're just hoping for the best at this point. No, I'm not seeing a damn thing. 
This is really annoying. It's just... It's so close to being done and I'm just wasting all of this time on my 0.1%, but I need to finish the feature at some point. There we go. And interestingly, that was spraying along underneath, so I think it is that there's a bit behind the cable that counts for that wall. That's really annoying. That's quite a dick move. Anyway, that's done, so we can move on to the next bit. Uh, did we do this? Yeah, platform wall got done. Um, not sure where to call it in terms of what's the tunnel and what's the middle, so I guess we could do the as far as the platform floor. No, we should do this side, like the platform ledge at least, maybe. Is that rust? Yup. Great. Why is there mold on the floor? <laughs> Guess it's been a long time since any trains come through here to stir it up, so... Just rem oh, it is Sloop on John B. As I say, it reminds me of Sloop John B by the Beach Boys. Sure enough, it basically is. Okay, so that cable. I mean, it'll be the other end, won't it? Do we do all of the wall before doing all of the floor, maybe? Especially since the other end of the wall seems like it might be a bit easier to clean. So we take a little bit of a break from mold busting. Okay. So this half seems to be less mold and more moss. It's like different designers diff did different parts of the dirt map and they each have their preferences. <laughs> but I'll gladly take the reprieve of having to turbo away every last bit of mold. a few little bits here and there hopefully it won't matter we did have to go hunting a bit on the last one though at least it's not mold should be a bit clearer what we've missed I'm hoping that we can catch up on the percentages because we just took so long just on 10 and 11 without really making much progress.
Is it moss or algae? It is moss. Yeah, moss, grime, and thick dust. Really hoping the other subway tunnel is more like this half and less like the other half. It's probably a mix. Might just be that one person had one end as opposed to doing it like tunnel by tunnel. Because I'd have thought that like one tunnel would be really rough, um, really mouldy, and the other tunnel would be mossy or something instead. pretty significant overlap with this stuff but really don't want to miss bits. I wonder if just having the long extension on would actually be okay. I'll get a slightly wider track. The difference isn't really the distance. Seems to be working. Come on, ding. Yes. And we're up to 14% now. That's good. Let's go back onto the extra long for this bit. So we'll do above the cable. Now that we know that that's a separate feature anyway, we'll do above the cable.
Now the downside is not having to clean the cable the whole way along before it dinged is that there's bound to be a bit like along the top here that isn't actually cleaned. So we might actually just quickly do a zip along here. Just to make sure that that's all cleaned out because hopefully the splash of this will get down there. Yeah, there's like the bits on the other side of the cable joins here that we didn't have to do. if they'd called it top tunnel wall or tunnel wall upper or something would have been nice so we could actually tell that there was a difference so it's one of those things that if you do miss it and have to check your tab to see what you've missed then if it just looks the same it's like okay but which one <laughs> it's the more you can have differently named features, if they're not exactly the same, then the better. This reminds me of music from like, some city or something. Pretty much still only doing one tile width at a time, but we're able to go across it quicker, and it's still faster than doing like each half tile with the turbo. To be fair, I have not actually tried any other thing. Okay, <laughs> it's like. Maybe the green will be okay. No. No, the green is rubbish. Any time that I think, oh, I should try the green, I'm immediately reminded of why it's rubbish. Still only 15%, but we did at least jump by doing the ceiling so quickly, we jumped up from like 12 to 14 pretty quickly, so that's nice. And if, there we go, nice. There's actually quite a bit of left there. 
It's interesting. It's weird how it was so super demanding when it came to the mold, but when it comes to this moss, seems not. <laughs> And we know that we have to do a bit of spraying along the bottom like this. We've got to get that cable cleaned anyway, right? We do to the top of the blue. we can actually stand closer. Can we get away with like the short extension from here or something? Or are we still going to have to just overlap too severely? I mean, you can at least see a bit better what we're doing. And then the difference in width between the top and the bottom is actually kind of annoying. Oh, we can do it sideways instead, I guess. And then it doesn't matter so much. Not much left above this it does. Let's just go down here. Hey, Mr. Smarty, welcome, welcome. Nice cup of tea, excellent. Hello, hello. We are on one of the longest maps in the game. <laughs> There's long periods where I've just not been talking and just been spraying. Okay, so this top tunnel wall should be almost done. Oh no, that's the top that got done, that's right. It'd be nice if it was upper, middle and lower and the stripe would be separate as well. Just make it a little bit more gratifying. Still, that was nice to not have to deal with a ton of mold. So, I guess from here we should be able to make do with just the short nozzle. Again, we're just having to do it like one tile width, but yeah, it's kind of fine. I want to stand back to try and get underneath that rail though, that cable. That's on the assumption that it's actually splashing up there properly, we just can't tell. Hopefully it's doing something. We have to clean the cable anyway, so... Cable will probably ding anyway, but we're just going to have to keep following it along, yeah following it along just in case there's still wall that needs to be cleaned on the bottom edge of it that we just can't see. There we go. I had a nice cup of tea and then the nice cup of tea was having me because I guess my milk went... what? <laughs> milk went bad. Oh no. And your body didn't like it. That's always not good. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give that milk the sniff test. Last thing you want is to be pouring milk into your cuppa and for it to end up having chunks in it.
<laughs> Thankfully, we got milk just from the supermarket on the way home this morning, so I know that mine's good. Real good friends with your toilet now. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've been sick like that, thankfully. Long may it last. At least if it is just like some food thing, then it's like, it comes up and that's it. You just take it easy for a bit, have some kind of cup of water or something. Maybe just some plain bread or something just to settle things and then it's fine. When it's some sort of virus or something, those are the worst because it's just for like a day or more and it's just exhausting. I think the worst I've had was, it was quite some years ago now. And I had no idea what it was at the time, but we figured out later that it was when I started experiencing a thyroid issue and the pituitary gland that it's meant to control your thyroid activity, mine just kind of had enough at one point. Turns out got Graves disease which is like overstimulated thyroid gland and the gland that's meant to control those levels just went, I'm done and stopped working. And the period that that happened we think is when I was really sick for like several days I just could not keep anything down that was fucking miserable and I mean I just put it down to just some sort of virus or food poisoning or something well oh, maybe I just had something on my hands when I was eating or something along those lines but yeah we think it was that because it correlated pretty well. Sometimes it's your body's way of just going, something ain't right. <laughs> got this wall done that's good I hope that this isn't going to be as stubborn as the last one was I can see there's a few bits that I've missed but I'm fairly sure most of the reason for the last one being so stubborn was bits underneath the cable yeah see that I had tons to go there was bits underneath the cable that I didn't even know were dirty because I just couldn't see them all right this one on the other hand um, we're gonna need an extension on again. Probably just the long will be fine. I don't think we need the extra long. And then again, maybe. Oh, that's right, there's all that graffiti over on that wall. This is going to be miserable to deal with. I'm going to have to turbo that whole wall slowly, probably. Can I just leave it there as a mural? 
It's nice and colourful. It's fine. It doesn't look like it's anything explicit. Just leave it there. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to at least finish off the platform wall and that should I think maybe get me to 20% which would be nice. I don't think it's taken me as long to get to 20% than it took me to get to 10 simply because this tunnel wasn't as bad in terms of mold it was just mossy instead. I think I do actually want the extra long though for these bits. It's a thinner track but it's more powerful. Just do half a tile at a time, that's fine, bit of overlap. Bananas are more powerful than the taste of your own stomach is. <laughs> All you could taste was banana. Yeah, I mean, stomach acid itself, just like hydrochloric acid diluted, doesn't really have anything that you could interpret as a taste. What you normally taste is bile, which comes from further down, I believe. And that's that really sort of acrid, yucky taste. Any undigested food is going to have a stronger flavour than that because of just how your taste buds are designed to work. So yeah, anything that comes up you should just taste, especially something sweet. Bananas are a pretty strong flavour after all. So I mean, that's good. <laughs> what I'll usually do after I've, you know, assuming that it's just like a food poisoning bout or something, not something else, but what can be quite good. Okay, 20%, there we go, new job available, the Uncanny Franny. Oh, that's the Fortune Yellow Caravan, which is good. That'll be a short job to follow on from this massive one. And now we get some facts about the subway from the Commissioner. It's taken a while, he asked if we wanted any two hours ago when we started, um, and we've only just hit 20%, which is their trigger for getting any extra stuff. I feel they need to maybe have triggers at 10% too for some of these maps, given how long the maps are. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can clean this platform screen would be nice. I'm guessing it's rusty. Oh, it's graffiti apparently. Probably don't need the extra long extension on for doing this to be honest. So if we do turbo we'll get bits underneath it. Yeah, what I'll usually do if I've been a bit ill is I'll um, get, go for like some orange juice or something because that's a nice strong flavour and it helps put a bit of acidity back in after you've just brought a ton up. And yes, I will literally talk about anything on stream. <laughs> It's always funny when people get grossed out about talking about things like, you know, just bodily functions in general. It's like, well, it's pretty universal for everyone, so it's just life, man. <laughs> it's just what happens sometimes. Can't be bothered by things just that happen naturally in life. Lights where the cameras or action is okay well we've got to do this whole floor at some point now so i don't know whether to, now i've hit 20 percent i could stop here or i could go into like 25 percent maybe i've done the cable i guess i should do the rails maybe next i'm gonna to have to do both sides of them though it's not going to be enough to just run down the middle, I'm fairly sure. I'm going to have to do both sides. So 
So I think we just take it slowly and just go along sideways. The wall will stop you getting too far away. We can do just this angle. Mostly spraying forwards, occasionally spraying backwards onto the bits we've just passed. Thankfully it doesn't look to be rust. It just looks like grime and dust. So it seems to be coming off pretty quickly. I'm hoping that holds true. But it feels like that the person who did the did the dirt mapping for the other end of the tunnel where we first started is a bit of a sadist because they had all the mold on the walls so it wouldn't put it past them to have a bunch of rust on the tracks either <laughs> we'll find out but we can at least just go over it normally first I wonder if we should just also just keep zooming along the wall like this, go back the other way, spraying at the next track in. Because otherwise it's going to be hard to do just sideways and maintain a steady distance. Whereas at least bashing up against the wall stops me going too far away from it. We can go under the ladder. Thankfully we're not superstitious. So that will be the halfway point I think that we've only just reached. See what we get to in percentage wise by quarter past anyway. Oh, here's the end. Okay. Ooh. Further along than we thought. And yeah, now it's like, do I want to go back this way perhaps? And do the middle track. And then maybe we put an extension on and do the far track on this side as well. No rust that I could see at least. Maybe someone else did the tracks. Actually, we can spray the other side of the ladder. Orchestra, so what, Kentucky Fried Cello? I don't even know what animals they have in Kentucky other than chickens and horses, but... Now, unfortunately, because I'm having to use the arrow keys this whole time, I can't just sip my coffee while I move, <laughs> while I spray. need a travel mug with a straw. What I should have also been doing is like the floor underneath the rails like this because otherwise I'm not going to have a very good angle at doing them if I don't do it now. I've been too fixated on just doing the rails. At least down here the floor as well is only mossy, it's not rusty, so that's a start. Oh, maybe we do that on the way back again. Because yeah, now we go back again. It doesn't matter that we're kind of retracing our steps a bit, because the important thing is that we're constantly cleaning something as we go. 
Like, so long as you are cleaning along with your movement, then it doesn't matter if you're kind of going back and forward. It would only matter if you were like going one way cleaning and then walking backwards without cleaning. So I've actually gained a couple of percent quite quickly. I don't know how good a job we're doing on the top of the rail from here, but as long as we're getting the side and the floor underneath it, that's the main thing. And now we're getting the moldy floors again. But thankfully not rusty track. At least from this side. With that whole platform ledge there. But we'll do that much closer. So we're going to have to red nozzle it or turbo it. Now we go this side and we do the other thing, do the rail that we started with, or track that we started with. Yeah, the underneath of that one is harder to do because it's all moldy. Well, we'll worry about that next. First we do the tracks, then we'll do the floor. Hopefully we've done a good enough job at least. I'm trying to make sure that we do the sleepers each time as well. Or whatever you call them for the style of track. Now well, we're halfway down the tunnel actually tell because we can see the, those uh, blue tiles. We're doing a fair bit of the floor as we go along as well at least, especially now that it's not moldy. This half of the floor will be much quicker to do. Might hit 25% before quarter past, but a couple of minutes. at the end of the line, so hopefully this dings soon. There we go, nice. 24%. And now the middle one. Back we go again. There and back again and back again and back again. <laughs> Right. 
point that we probably don't need the long nozzle on anymore, but whatever. It's not messing it up too much, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, quarter past. Let's see if we can hit 25%, because that would be a nice, nice number to do. And then we've got to go deal with some family stuff again. And then we'll be back to see how far we can get. Before I have to stop for lunch. Actually, we might just stop for lunch after this. To be perfectly honest, I think we'll we'll finish this rail. Or track rather. <clears throat> finish this track. Maybe we can even finish the other one. There's one. And now this we have. I guess we can do the short extension still, probably don't even need an extension. We're actually going to take a quick break. Okay, back we come. Now we'll just finish off this track. And... Maybe a bit of the floor, I guess, but I do then have to stop to have lunch and then we're popping out again this afternoon, so I can't keep going too long on this. I, I knew that this map was going to take a long time. This is not a single stream endeavor. This will take at least two. I mean, given the fact that we've only just got to 25%, and it's taken us like two and a half hours. This is probably a four stream job. <laughs> this is gonna be like an an eight episode on YouTube or something. <laughs> this is a big job. It's like a playlist in its own. Well, you can have things in multiple playlists, so we can have a subway playlist as well as the the basic washer challenge playlist. Oh, well that's the track done, so now we'll just do the bit of floor underneath as we go along. There we go. Okay, lovely. So, what can we feasibly do in a small space of time? And I'm not sure whether to just run up and down or what. I guess we'll just do it like this. Oh, I'm missing bits though. Is it better to like do it in sections like this and then just slowly move sideways? Like when we were doing the track. Yeah, it's probably better. Would be like running up and then coming back the other way, but that feels a bit silly. We'll go to the halfway point of this floor section anyway, and then come back down the middle, I guess, and then go back up on the other side. Have to do a little bit of there and back again.
can't quite see. Where is the halfway line? Oh, it's still ages away, okay. <laughs> Thought, oh, we must be close by now. Nope, we're actually ages away. Downside to doing something to a fast paced bit of music is that try and do things in time with the music but I might be going too fast. <laughs> On this bit of floor it doesn't matter too much, the stains are not quite so bad, they're not ingrained or anything. I haven't encountered any oil or anything on the floor either at least. I mean, that probably won't last but... Okay well there's a halfway point for this section of floor. We're actually going to call it there, um, because I need to go and have lunch before we head out again. So yeah, this is the subway. This is going to be another few videos to do. So yeah, enjoy the ride. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.